All right, fellow YouTubers, <clears throat> I today have a car that kicked the living shit out of me getting this radio out. Now I'm going to show you the backside. We actually have to replace this digitizer. The screen, let me just show you real quick. So, let's go in order. To get to the digitizer, A, you got to do this. One sec. Be right back. All right, so... We're back to this guy. I don't know why this is not flipping, but yeah, here we go. So four screws to get this guy out. Whoop you do. One, two, three, four. This guy pops out. This is the part of the entertainment. So that's there. Here's the water bottle. Remember this video? I have to upload that soon. So uh this guy is one screw here, two, three. This is just a panel sort of covering the guts so we're getting there and you had screws all over one two three four five six seven eight and i took this guy out anyway what the hell it's two screws after all this what does it matter this is i think the hazard so let's put this guy aside towel people towel okay now this guy i sort of got two manhandly but this guy pushes in i thought it goes outward and it decided to break but no big deal it does lock back into place and i use my handy dandy little screwdriver this little guy to push this little tiny silver piece in to release this guy a little tiny little you can see it i'll probably put an arrow on it when i make the video so that releases the actual ribbon cable to get this big chassis out of the way. I swear to God, man, who the hell puts these things together or manufactures them or designs them? Anyway, another clip here. So now we're getting to the nitty gritty. This is a clip that just pops in. Again, use this little guy. All right. You got to push down on this little tab both of them this is a little tab and same with i don't want to slip because i already have them out same with this guy there's another tab over here i just sort of twisted them out of the way so we're getting there we gotta get to this guy who is broken yep so fun stuff i uh, will be right back sort of so I don't know where I left off because of so, <laughs> so many little things I'm doing. This is great. But I do know this. I had this one off the first time around. I actually take this one off because that relieves the pressure off the actual screen because it hits right there. Okay. This guy is a flip door that locks this ribbon cable in. Okay. And then these guys are the actual ribbons. Get, get my hand in there. Okay. So you got to pull. Where's my little handy dandy screwdriver? You pull this guy out. Where am I at here? I'm too close. Here we go. Here. Pull this guy out. Gently, Wesley. Gently. Okay. Everything here is very, very fragile. Same with this guy. All right. This guy, you sort of want to. I'll show it, push it back in. You want to pop it right here in the corner, the black outward, and that will relieve the tension off the ribbon. And these go up and over. So you sort of pull them back at you and then pull outward. Put them aside. Put them aside. And we're getting there. So we have to remove this guy. This is three screws. One, two. And the third one behind my finger. There it is, right there. So get that out of the way. But <clears throat> this one decided to come with it, but that's not as easy as it looks. So here you've got a push, a little clip here. I thought it was this one. It's not. I thought it was this one. It's also not. There is two right there. One, two that lock it into place. If you push down hard enough, it'll lock into place. So you have to release that again with this little guy. You pop him back 
pop it back, it'll release the pressure. Then you pull this guy back and the whole thing will just pop up in your hand. And you have to remove this guy with the button and the rubber. She's just all pop back in. I mean, listen, it's a Honda. It always, it always goes back, but you have to be gentle. And whoever the hell designed this thing should be maybe just punching the face. So now that we released this guy, screws, people. One, two, three, four, and I think five, five. Gently, Wesley, after all the ribbon cables are out, here we go. We're getting to the, the nitty gritty. This guy also, I think, had four screws. One, two, three, four. I'm losing, I'm losing count here. I should videotape before I do this. And it's all screws. They're all the same. These guys are all the same. These guys are all the same. These guys are all the same. The only ones are different that are actually these two. These guys. But these hold that and the hazard button. This guy. So that, that's what those six are for. So everything else is the same screws. So even if you start taking them out, it doesn't really matter where they go. But um, Or backwards. So now we got this guy out. And I have to say this thing's actually pretty sturdy. But let's, let's get her out. That's what we have to change. So let me get this out of my hand. Pause it. And I'll be back. All right, so we kill ourselves for your entertainment. And I'm back with how to get this little guy off. Now, I looked at the new one. It was one of cross-reference. So if you look closely, in these little corners, they are little look like little rubbers. Well, they're actually stickies. So that's what sticks this thing on to the actual screen. Now, be careful and definitely have a garbage laying around. So once you get all four out, all I did was carefully use my little guy. And I went right in between outward. You could probably use a razor for this. I probably should have thought of that. I got plenty of them laying around. But I wanted to make sure I got a little bit more control. Razors, eh, he might slip and scratch another screen that you have here. So you do have another screen. Be careful. Right? So you got one, two, three. And the fourth one underneath this guy, and this guy's out. So, sort of run the ribbon cable. Get the ribbon cable out of here, but can't do it with one hand. Let's see. There you go. And garbage. Make sure you have a garbage laying around, because it is broken glass. So, let's uh, clean this guy up and prep it up to uh, put the new digitizer on. Be right back. All right, so all cleaned up. Like that? My garage lights. Hello. But to have it aim that way, see those little tiny little you know, dots on the actual screen? Those are actually scratches. So I just did my best cleaning it up. I used an air gun. You don't have to have an air gun, but just clean it like it would be like an iPad or your smartphone. You know, just get all the dust and make sure your glasses <clears throat> wear safety glasses. It is tiny little pieces of glass. And. Make sure you put it on the right way. So I'm going to practice this guy up. I'm just showing you as I go along. So make sure the digitizer uh, ribbon cables are going the right way. So let me do that. Be right back. All right. So the new one does not have stickies, but it does have the rubber, which is good. Keeps a little gap between the screen. So what I did was to make it easier, I actually laid it in the bracket. Keeps it. Nice and straight. It is actually a perfect fit into this thing. So let's think, let this thing focus. So um, have the ribbons out of the way and sort of go up and under. And we have to put this guy in. Let me just try to get do both at the same time and focus. And there you sort of have it. Just align it back up. And now we got to get screws back in, put the ribbon back in, and I will show you backwards what i did forward be back all right so before i go any further um there was a secondary film on the actual outside of the glass 
but now it actually looks like a nice clean glass. Before, what gave me the idea was, if you look closely, you're not going to see it, but there's hairline scratches in the actual film. I was like, hmm, let me see if this thing actually comes off, and it does. It's just a protective film. So, that goes away. This guy, <clears throat> angle topward in a little bit. Everything lines up. Everything lines up. You've got alignment tabs alignment tabs make sure the ribbon's out of the way and so now we move on back to the board <clears throat> and put everything back let me start doing that and i will uh be right back all right so all meticulous little stuff this guy goes around see this little notch in the board that's for this little plug and then we got this guy I already did i'm gonna show you on this one if i can try with one hand sort of so this guy goes in, let's see if I can do this, let's try, where's my cameraman, he's at school, so let's pull this guy back out, you get the idea, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with one hand, definitely need to, so I got to pull this guy back out, tuck this guy in and I'll show you the end result, this one also, there's alignment tabs. See this little tiny little corner? It sort of goes in this little notch. That's where you, that's where you want it. And then this guy just goes downward. Bloop. That's it. Locked in the place. This guy plugs in. Come on, puppy. I'm trying to do this through the screen, but that's never fun. All right, let me put this down. I'll be right back showing you. Okay, yeah, there's no way you're doing that with one hand. <laughs> so you got this guy plugged in. It has to sort of like weasel up and in and over and then lock into place with the two black tabs right at the edge of my fingers. This guy I twisted. You have to sort of twist them out of the way and put them back in. He locks tabs on this side. Same with this guy. This you could probably do with one hand, but I couldn't get it either way. Now, we got to put screws back in. So, let's go put the screws back in. Put this guy back in. This I'll show you here, actually, while I have it. So, this guy was a pain in the ass. I didn't like you, but I had to figure out how to get you out. Now, you see those little tabs right there? They lock into place. That's it. For that, gonna let me put the screws back in. Put the boards back on. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So, one... Two, three, four, five. And I do stand corrected. They are not the same size. They look the same, but they are not. Let me compare the two. One's the hair smaller. Smaller ones are for this board. And then we're going to work our way around to get these guys in. So make sure this uh, board's back on. Got to put three screws in here. And we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so the four extra ones I had over here, they're actually for here. I forgot I took them out. I didn't need to. Again, I never did this before, so I was like, fuck it, let me take everything apart. But these didn't need to come out, these four. Those were the tabs that I needed out. But you got to take this board out of the way so you can see it. So this you definitely have to take out. And these little tabs right here, which I thought were the ones, this one, this tiny one over here, they actually hold this guy in place. So let me pop this back in. I'll show you. So this everything has... Pretty much alignments. So you see you got alignment hole. You see right here? You see? It sort of just lays in place. It just sort of locks into place. So everything sort of has a place. It just has to be taken care of. Gently, Wesley. Gently. So let me put the screws back in. We're getting there. I'll put the radio back on. And uh, <clears throat> hang tight. Don't forget to plug this guy back in. Let's go nowhere. All right, cover, no screws yet, cover first, then screws. So now we start putting all these guys back together. These are the longer ones, these guys. So one, two, three, all the way around, all the way around. One there, one there, I'll show you. Okay. All right, screws are all in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's pin this guy over. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
All right, radio's in, radio secured to the screen, and we're getting there. Let me put everything back. All right, so everything's back together. It's a Honda and Acura, so everything goes back nicely. Moment of truth. Non-broken digitizer. Ooh, we got ELS. Ooh, let's see. Can we touch it? Where am I here? This thing load. Hmm. Well, there we go. Octane. Right, so it's not. A, I got you. So it has. It's like a. I don't know if you could turn that off. You almost have to touch, and press almost. There you go. I don't think you just touch it. Maybe it's in settings. What? Well, either way, it works. Woo! Like it? Don't like it? Share? Don't share? Subscribe? Don't subscribe? Thanks for watching.